once we've taken the movement apart and before we check the pivots and bushes to see how they are fit and align and also in play, the first thing we have to do is check to see if there's any damage on the pivot. The way we do that is to use our fingernail and draw it along the length of the pivot. The little lines that have been worn on it are very hard to see, but you'll notice that my thumb when I'm dragging it along runs smoothly for a period of time and then jumps. That's a groove that runs all the way around that pivot. Both of those have got lines in them, so we'll have to put them onto the lathe and clean them up. I'll just mark those with a little black line from a texture so that we know that they have to be reworked. This is a different wheel from a different clock. Movement. You'll notice I draw my thumbnail along the pivot. It doesn't catch. Turn it round, try another side. There's no grooves in that one. Try this side. Thumbnail on the pivot, draw it towards me. Nope, that's nice and smooth. Now on this wheel that has no grooves in the pivot, a simple way to smooth it off is to use a popsicle stick broken in the middle with 1200 or 2000 grit mesh paper on it. You put the pivot on the two halves of the popsicle stick and then holding it with your thumb and finger relatively tightly. You then rotate the wheel with your left hand as so and any minor high spots on the pivot will be removed and the pivot will be polished. We'll do the other end. Line it up on the stick again. Hold it relatively tightly and spin the wheel. When it comes out you can see it's shinier. They're both shinier. And they'll both be smoother than before we started. So that's the easy way to polish a pivot. Now, back to the wheel we had before. We're going to put it into the lathe, polish those two pivots, make them nice and smooth again, and this is the way we do it. Because clock wheel arbors are so thin, they're very hard to hold in a lathe chuck. So what we do to make them more stable is we put them into a pin vise. And then we put the pin vise into the chuck. Tighten that down. Put that into the chuck. Tighten the chuck down. This is a pivot file. 
One end is a burnisher for finishing off after you've used the file. That's the file. You'll notice that both sides are flat so that when you're using it this blind side will not rub on the other side of the pinion and cut into the shoulder of the pivot. Right, we'll set the lathe at about 300 revs. Keep it nice and slow. We put the pivot file underneath the pivot and move it slowly up and down and sideways. And see that pivot starting to look shinier now. I think the groove's gone in that. Turn it off. Have a scrape with our thumbnail. That seems to be about right. What we'll do now, we'll take the other end of the file, the burnisher, and very lightly Move it backwards and forwards and up and down on the pivot. Being careful not to put too much pressure on it. It only needs, needs very light pressure. Take it out of the chuck and have a closer look at it. I've had a look under the magnifier and that's come up pretty well. I'll use some steel wall to remove the rust on that arbor before we put it back into the clock. I've reversed the wheel in the chuck. It seems to be relatively secure. We'll turn it on and we'll repeat the process for the pivot down this end. Moving it backwards and forwards and up and down with very little pressure on it. The more material you take off the pivot is going to affect the size of the bushing if you have to rebush it. So you've got to be very, very careful. A little bit more. It's feeling a lot smoother. Right, back to the burnisher again. Moving it backwards and forwards across the pivot and up and down. Right, we'll check that out. Move the wheel. It's certainly way better than it was. It's got rid of that groove that was down the end about there. That's now gone. It's nicely polished. Both pivots have now been polished. I'll just clean up the arbor here 
with some fine steel wool and the wheel will be ready to put back into the movement. Wrap some steel wool around the arbor. Spin the wheel. And move the steel wool up and down the arbor. There we have it. You can see the arbor is much shinier now we've got rid of the rust and we've polished both the pivots. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about antique and vintage clock repair, be sure to hit the subscribe button before watching these next two videos.